in elementary school, I was more of kind of a jokester. I was pretty much a slacker. I did the minimal amount of work. My MCAS scores, I was usually in needs improvement. Did the bare minimum, like just to pass. There's not many people I can look to in my neighborhood to kind of stay focused on school. My goal is just to survive four years and just to graduate. The high school where I teach is, you know, about 85% minority. Um, and what I saw was that my AP classroom did not reflect the diversity of our school. We looked at our, some of our data and realized that we really had kids that we really weren't pushing forward. Right up front, we propose radical change. We're going to double the number of kids in AP math, science, and English in your school. And we're still going to see great results. Too many schools in the past take the student that doesn't do as well and just brush them aside. Well, he hasn't succeeded, so he's just middle of the road. We'll let him go at that. Let's take the kids in the middle and move them up, and, and the kids at the top, let's keep them there. And, and what that happened is created like a weird vacuum where it's like everything is coming up now. It is the most powerful program I've seen in 20 years of work on education reform. It pulls four or five levers simultaneously to open the doors to AP to underserved kids. There are no silver bullets. This includes teacher training. It's the best professional development I've ever received. Student study sessions on Saturdays. We're able to get to go over the same material or even introduce new material to us from different teachers' perspectives. An agreement with every high school and every school district to increase their participation and their performance. Um, we started with 59 students three years ago in math, science, and English. And next year we should have about 500 and leadership support. It's allowed us to uncover a lot of diamonds in the rough. Kids who maybe haven't heard that they have the capacity and the capability to, to do higher level work. It's not, are you going to take AP? It's what AP are you going to take? 15 out of my population of 21 students earned qualifying scores on the exam, and not one of them earned a one which means that every single one of my students got something out of the course. And now is the first time they've actually had to work hard. And what that would have been six years ago would be them dropping out of college and nobody stopping them. Now I understand what the workload is going to be going in as a freshman. Looking at the difficulty of these classes, you kind of think that, wow, well, I must be prepared for college now. I'm more prepared for a college course because I've been in certain introductory courses. That kind of atmosphere that Mass Insight provided for us gave me the experience and the confidence to know the material and know that I can go out and do anything. When they see they can be successful in math and science, they realize they might have a possible career. It's incredibly uh, important for the competitiveness of Massachusetts and ultimately the competitiveness of the United States to have well-educated children that um, are versed in the sciences and are interested in the sciences. These are great jobs that the students had no idea even existed. Uh, most of the students don't even live with anybody that has a job. Not too often can you really make an investment where you're going to influence the life of a child. And um, the students that are in this building uh, really need people to continue to invest in them. 10, 15 years from now. I want to become an electrical or computer engineer. Because I want to be a surgeon when I grow up, definitely. I want to become a biologist. I want to research. I see myself as an actuary who's completed all of his actuarial exams. I will be rich. I'm going to be a physician in a very important hospital and I'm going to be looking back and saying, wow, if it wasn't for AP Chemistry, I don't know what I would have been doing.